Joey's 31 Days of Horror. Hello YouTube, I'm Joey Hollywood and this is the first episode of my new series, 31 Days of Horror. Now let's start off with the original 1968 classic, Night of the Living Dead by George Romero. This is by far one of my more favorite zombie movies. It's up there in my top five. This is the film that started the whole zombie genre. Now there were some zombie movies before then, but this is the one that really got the ball rolling. What is there to say that hasn't already been said about this movie? It's just great. There are a lot of complaints that people make saying, oh, it's just a movie about people in a house saying a lot of dull things, but I think there's more to it than that. Ultimately, I really love how the zombies really aren't the bad guys in the movie. The bad guys are the characters themselves. The zombies are merely an element in a larger story. This film, I think, is more about the horror of humanity than the horror of being eaten by flesh-eating zombies. One of the things that really makes this movie, for me at least, is the casting of Dwayne Jones as Ben. He was originally scripted as a white man, but because Dwayne Jones was the best actor they had, they casted him. And what I really like about this is, they did not change his character in the script. He was still written as a white man. To really get this, it's, you gotta understand the time period. They didn't do this back then. If they did have a black character as the main character, they called attention to it. They didn't call attention to it. He was just depicted as a man. It's another reason why I am attracted to this film. It's just how big a concept this was for such a small movie. I really just feel that it was handled very maturely. Now let me briefly touch base on some of the revisions of the film. There is a 30th anniversary edition of Night of the Living Dead with 15 minutes of additional footage. Now when I first heard of this, I thought it was some of the footage that was lost, because there's about 8 minutes of the movie that's missing. But when I first saw that they, it said 15 minutes of added footage, I kind of leapt for joy and thought, oh, here's the missing footage that we've been waiting for, and unfortunately, that is not the case. A filmmaker added about 15 minutes of his own footage into the film to improve it to make it more modern, I guess. But it really doesn't work, and it kind of kills the whole mood of the movie. Now, I respect independent filmmakers, and normally I would be all for something like this, but it does not by any means benefit this movie, and I actually would recommend avoiding this revision. There's also a Night of the Living Dead reanimated movie, and it's basically the audio of Night of the Living Dead, but with over a hundred different animators creating these sequences. I personally don't like this movie, but it does have its fans. Now, there are two colorized versions of Night of the Living Dead. Uh, I prefer the 2004 color colorization. I do not like the Legend Films colorization merely because they picked a lot of weird colors for certain things. And they just picked a very bad print of the movie. However, I do think that Night of the Living Dead should never be seen in color. I feel it works better in black and white anyways. Now, if you're looking into buying this film, I would highly recommend this version the release by Dimension Films. It has the best picture I've seen so far, and unlike most releases, this one actually has some relevant bonus features. Well, that's my review of Night of the Living Dead. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you tomorrow.